It seems with the daily barrage of polls leading up to November 2nd, there must be a poll for every voter. So at the risk of adding to the mountain of numbers, let me toss onto the pile some interesting sidebars we found. First, Team Obama and the Republicans have been duking it out over who's to blame for the wretched state of the economy. In our national surveys, President Obama continues to win the argument that he inherited the economic woes from President Bush. Currently, 61% side with Obama. But so much for the good news for the president. 56% nationwide are actually dissatisfied with President Obama's handling the economy, and 54% think he's fallen below their expectations for his presidency. Only 37% think he represents change for the better. Most importantly, what are voters' impressions of the economy? We asked if they think we've turned the corner. 46% think we have, and the worst is behind us. But 49% think the worst is still to come. How do these numbers play out for President Obama? Well, if you think the worst is behind us, the glass is half full, you're more likely to approve of the job Obama's doing as president and vote Democratic. But if you think we haven't turned the corner and the economic glass is half empty, then you're likely to disapprove of the president's job performance and you're planning to vote Republican. The battle lines couldn't be drawn more clearly. The winds of change that carried Barack Obama into the White House just two years ago, well, they're still blowing, but 74% think major changes are still needed. But what a difference two years has made. Now President Obama is the incumbent, and the gusts are swirling in the opposite direction. The bottom line? Well, there's likely to be a new political reality after November 2nd. For the Marist Poll, I'm Barbara Carvalho.